today. It's the home opener for the Minnesota Twins here at Target Field in downtown Minneapolis. And as baseball loves to give us peanuts, Cracker Jack, well, we've got pomp and circumstance as well. That all comes along with the home opener as you see the Twins right now in their shiny white uniforms ready for the opening ceremony. Earlier today, the Minnesota Twins officially named the television broadcast booth the Dick Bremer broadcast booth. And catching today's home opener first pitch is one of those players whose career we are also celebrating in 2024. Please give a warm welcome to Hall of Famer, Joe Miller. Fans in Dick Bremer fashion, raise your cups for a left-handed toast and salute one of the greatest ambassadors the Twins have ever had. Mr. Bremer, it's your pitch. What a moment for our friend Dick Bramer throwing out the ceremonial first pitch to Joe Maurer. Pablo Lopez, who was terrific on opening day, he made one mistake in that entire ball game and ended up in the bullpen in left field for a home run, but he is the ace of this staff. He's the guy you want to go out there, start the big games. A nice job of refining his stuff. It's been much talked about. That sweeper's been a tremendous pitch for him. He always has that changeup to go to when he needs it to right-handers or left-handers. Again, the 3-2. To left, Walner with the play. He's got it. And foul territory. Now the Minnesota kid, how fitting. With the first out, the home opener. Got inside a bit and popped it up. Correa. Two down. 1 1 pitch from Lopez. This ball hit high in the air. Right center field for Max Kepler. Buxton's there as well. It'll be Kepler calling off Byron. Max puts it away. And a 1 2 3 inning here in the top of the first. To the delight of the target field faithful. Second start of the year for Tanner Bybee. In his last start, command wasn't there. Some fastball, uh, you know, issues. He walked five. The three-two, and strike three called. Fooled him with a slider. Bybee gets Julian looking to start the Twins' first inning. You know, another lefty here in Alex Kirilov. He's hit safely in all five games this season. Kirilov hammers one to right center. Drifting back on the track near the wall. That's going to be missed by Freeman. Kirilov tripled yesterday. He's trying again. He's going to make it head first sliding. Well, that's one way to get the crowd into it early. Back to back days with a triple. This one took a favorable bounce. Sounded good coming off. Center cut fastball. When he's hot, I'm telling you, he can swing it as well as anybody in the league. Now, Twins have to find a way to make contact here. Swung out and missed. He went away with a breaking ball and strikes him out with a nasty slider. Two down. Well, that was a good one. Now the one two. Swung out a weak tapper back to the mound. Gloved by Bybee. Runs to the bag about 10 feet away. Flips it to Naylor. And the one out triple does no damage. Great job by Bybee. Carlos Correa leads things off in the home second. Correa five walks over his last two games. Shoots this one to right and that'll land. Lead off single. And that one got Walner on his right hand. And did he swing? He did not. And Walner painfully will be given first base. Loads him up for Eddie Julian. Well, they're trying to cash in early in a ball game. See if Bobby can get this final out. Strike three call. Painted the inside corner with that same slider. Bobby got the call this time. He screams into his glove. Heading to the third base dugout. It's nine up, nine down for Pablo Lopez here at Target Field. We're still scoreless after two and a half. Perfect through three. Stephen Kwan leading up for the Guardians here in the fourth inning. Kwan is off to a very, very good start. Kwan shoots one to left. And it's going to be a base hit. First hit of the game for the Guardians as Matt Muller plays it on a bounce. There you go. Base hit up the gut. Kwan First can go to third. third. And the Guardians have him at the corners with nobody out. That's what you're talking about there. there. Those yeah. two, Juan and Jimenez, were uh, 5 for 11 off those guys. They're now 6 for 12. Guardians and Twins, no score here in the fourth. Posey flying to right his first time up. Driven to right center field. That's in the alley. Jimenez got a great read. He's all the way to third as the Guardians strike first and take a 1 to nothing lead. Jose Ramirez, RBI number 7 on the year. Second and third infield in now for the Twins with only one out and Freeman digging in. He bounced to short his first time up. Swung on, lined right side, sinking fast, shallow right, and it falls in for a base hit. 
Ramirez scores. Naylor makes it to third, stops there, and Tyler Freeman gives the Guardians a two run lead with an opposite field single to shallow right center. And the Guardians continue to click here in the fourth inning. Here comes the 3 1. Swung on, and there's a high fly ball to deep left, carrying well. Walner back at the cut of the track, makes the catch plenty deep enough to score. Naylor and Brennan gets the job done with a sacrifice fly, and the Guardians have a three run fourth inning to take a 3 0 lead. Julian, two for 17 to begin his season, 0 for his last 11. On Julian. They need a jolt here. They need something to everybody going. Julian, 3 1 count. Fly ball left field. Quan twisting, turning. That's going to be gone. You ask for a jolt, and Julian responds. Going the other way for his first home run, and the Twins are down three to one. That's how you break out right there. Julian's just got that type of opposite field power. The bases are loaded for Brian Rocchio. They're a big hit away from blowing this open. Everybody runs again. Payoff pitch. Swung on a broken bat chopper in the hole. Booted by Correa. And everybody moves up a base. Now going too far to around second is Naylor. Now the throw to the plate. Loriano in a run down between home and third. And the ball bobbled the throw. And he is tagged out at the plate. And the throw hung on to by Carlos Santana, who made the tag at home plate. Uh, Naylor ran Cleveland out of the inning. After Carlos Correa booted the ball at short, Brennan scores a gift run. The bases still should be loaded, but a base running mistake costs Cleveland, and we will go to the bottom of the sixth with Cleveland up four to one. And that will load the bases. It's up to Kepler over three today. All the way to the backstop. Here comes Willie Castro. Castro dives. Castro scores. Wild pitch, ball three. And the Twins now trail four to two. Good read, good aggressive base running. Swung on, skied in the air on the right side of the infield. Jimenez, the second baseman, midway between first and second, makes a shoulder high catch. I tell you what, a lot of drama here that may be needless. You're going to get curveballs and sliders, and every once in a while, a 90 mile an hour fastball from Scott Barlow. His fourth outing, no wins, a loss, ERA 675. Smacks that one on a line. Quan, no chance. That's over his head. One ops off the wall. Correa is going to test the arm of Quan. He will slide in safely with a leadoff double. Good start to the eighth. Well, Correa does his homework as much as anybody around the league. After seeing that first pitch breaking ball, it looked like he was ready for this one. It just kind of spun up there. Got him. Santana went down chasing after that slider couldn't get to it one down in the eighth. He stayed with that break ball that never started out as a strike but he was able to get Santana to chase it. Swing and a miss. He struck him out back to back case for Barlow. Here's his payoff pitch. Strike three call back door slider. After the leadoff double, Barlow strikes out the side. Emmanuel Classe has saved two so far this year. Two strikeouts and two scoreless innings of work. Now the 1 0 pitch. Swung on, line to center field, but right there is Freeman. Ball game. And the Guardians keep on rolling. They take care of the Twins in game one and are winners by a final score of 4 to 2.